good afternoon. This one. And I am going to be talking to you about some of the things that I found today on our walk. We went for a walk today and um, I am going to be looking at all the stuff that I found and maybe painting some of them today. So thank you for joining me. Um, I spilled water before we started here, so just cleaning that up. All right, what is in the green bag? Let's look. Went for a walk today and I didn't bring anything, so this is a, a doggy bag. <laughs> We're walking our dog, so I couldn't find any place to put it, so. All right, hello, where's everybody from? We have somebody from Chile, hi. Look at this. Today I gave myself like the, I'm gonna press these into a book so that next time they will be nice and flat. Okay, so I tried really hard not to pick any flowers today. Unfortunately, well, I'll show you. Look at that. It's like a nice flat leaf. So, I found so many cool things on our walk. It's from a dandelion. Dandelion leaf. If you have any questions, please let me know. Look at this one. Oh, I had to get this one. I mean, painting that is going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fun. So there's that. I, I really like just focused on the leaves today and um, tried super hard not to pick any flowers. Ooh. But anyway, look at this one. It's similar to this one, but there is definitely a change. See? Like this, the leaves on this one and the leaves on this one. Huge difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press these and I'm going to put them in a book. But I think, I think this is, um, this one's from one of the ferns. I mean, look at how, see how they're like the leaf within itself. It's just so amazing. It's going to be fun to paint that. Um, we're having a painting with joy session in about it's three every third Wednesday. So I think this Wednesday it's coming up on the 16th. And so if you haven't signed up, it's free. So just register and we'll just be doing um it'll be fun. We'll be doing I haven't decided for sure yet, but I think we might be doing landscapes, but but it, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to do leaves after going for a walk. So, so I don't know. Um, here's another dandelion leaf. Let's see. What else is in here? Look at this one. Like, it's so cool. The little ruffles on the edges. So not only am I like trying really hard to learn all of the flowers this year, I would love to learn the weeds and have some uh, some weed talks here with you. Um, so, yeah. Look at that. This was just on our walk, just outside, walking around. Found some really, really cool leaves. I made sure I picked them from places that did not belong to other people, not in people's yards, but I was tempted. Boy, was I tempted, because some people have some cool things growing out of them. This one was the very first one I picked, I think. All right. It's also nice to see how the light hits them. Does anybody have any... This is going to be my first time pressing these, so if you have any um, suggestions on how to do that, I'd love to hear your thoughts so just put it right on the chat if you have any ideas this is how far i got i picked the leaves and then i thought about putting them in this book i was gonna put it in a really heavy book just to see and then 
Um, I was going to also use paper towel to put in between them, but I don't know if that's the right thing, so I might have to do some research. But yeah, let's see what else. This one is similar to the other one that I found, which is fun. Oh, let's see. Are they from the same tree or same weed? Maybe. All right. Let's see what else. This is the coolest thing that my husband found on our walk. Look at that. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Like, I'm going to try to paint that today with you guys. I mean, look at all the dots. That's like asking to be painted in watercolor. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm not sure how I'm going to press this. <laughs> I'm probably just going to set it on my uh, shelf to see how it dries. That's going to be fun. All right, here we go. Let's do some painting. So I am going to um use let me see which one do i want to try i'm trying to think i have been walking by the dandelion leaves a lot so this looks like a fun one to do and then maybe maybe one of these guys yeah like i said if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask oh and they all smell differently that's interesting i got this book weeds of the northeast so i'm gonna take some time and i'm also gonna be identifying them that is the teacher in me um i don't know why i just really want to learn I, I guess it just never it never leaves you um once you have it all right um so the inspiration to learn is what i'm talking about i just want to like learn about all the leaves. I want to learn about the trees around us. So this is a book that I'll be diving into this weekend. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, what I have here with me today is some, oh, <laughs> I have to tell you, I tried so hard not to pick a flower on our walk and look, see, I couldn't help myself. I had to pick one. All right, so I'm going to have this black sketchbook. I got at one of the stores. It was not expensive, as you can see, $3.99. You could probably get it cheaper with a coupon that's 40% off. Um, but let's see here. I'm gonna try to find an empty page. I used this earlier and it did not work out with what I was drawing. So I figured, see what happens is if it doesn't work out with what I'm drawing, I, I switch subjects. So landscapes, was not working out just yet today, so I'm switching to leaves. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it with a black piece of paper. And I think I'm gonna use the super affordable Pentel oil pastels. All right, I'm gonna pick a leaf. I know I said I was gonna do the other one, but the dandelion. See, that's an easy one, so we'll try that. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting the essence of it because that's what nature is about. You don't have to have it perfect. Okay. Oh, that's kind of close in the color, though. Interesting. So I'm just getting the shape, the rough shape of the leaf. It's cool how it kind of goes in and out like that. It's almost like a tree, right? And then it kind of thins out at the edges. And then there's a stem. So yeah, if you're out on a walk, take a look around. Um, there might be some cool leaves or trees that have nice patterns of leaves that you can take with you. It's an interesting color there. And look at the stem has red. Um, so, is it reddish? It's like a little bit reddish. I'm going to add that. Um, yeah, you can, like I said, these are not expensive tools that I'm using. I'm just using something I found at a store that was like three something. And these are 
not expensive at all. I think I got them for like $8 or something. Um, but I will, these are linked on my, at least the Pentel, linked on my supply page and my, uh, in my, where is it? Oh, it's on my website. I'm trying to read this. Um, I'm sorry, I do not, I cannot reply. The only language I'm really good at is a little bit of Spanish, and I speak Tagalog because I'm from the Philippines, so I'm sorry. I could try to, somebody asked a question in another language, so. I could try to retranslate and answer. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do some leaves here, adding some green, and I'm just going by feeling, guys, because I'm just getting the spirit of the leaves. The cool thing about this is it's already, I was feeling kind of bad about my landscape earlier because I just wasn't feeling it. Like, you know, like, oh man, I wasted paper or whatever. I was feeling kind of bummed about it, but you can't let these things bum you out. You gotta find something else to bring joy. And then you can go back and um, try something new. So I'm just gonna take that time and do leaves instead. Light's hitting it a different way, so I'm just adding a little bit of highlight. Right. Just adding some colors there. And it doesn't look exactly like this, but you know what? It doesn't matter, because you're just playing. And that is the best way to create. You just play, play, play. So that is the first rendition of my dandelion leaf, which doesn't necessarily... I'm going to cheat, guys, and I'm going to switch to a different set. This is Mongio, I think is what it's called. They're gallery oil pastels. Also not that expensive for a giant set. But it has a lot of options. And you can see how buttery and juicy. It changes, it changes. There's student grade and there's art, artist grade. And sometimes you just have to look and see if you wanna take, if you wanna level up, definitely invest some money in artist grade. If you wanna just play and you don't wanna feel bad about creating, get some student grade. Let's try this flower. I'm gonna move this aside. I'm so glad you guys joined me here. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting pollen everywhere. All right, so I'm just getting the impression of the flower. The interesting about this is there's only five, four petals. Usually flowers have five, right? Am I crazy in thinking that? I thought... I thought they had five all the time, but maybe not. This one only has four. And then it has cool lines through it, so I'm gonna switch up my tool and use a, um, what is this? Aqua Blend. Ew, ooh, and it's banana. Aqua Blend banana. I'm gonna use that to draw the lines because it has lines on it. And like I said, I am not going per for perfection. I'm just going for fun. And this is a fun thing to do if you want to just get your creative juices going. What's another word for creative instead of juices? Um, what else? Creative mojo? Creative... I gotta find adjectives. Um, 18 pages of color said, beautiful colors, really expressive. Thank you. I appreciate that. Creative vibes. Ooh, vibes is good. If you want to get your creative vibes going, um, you can... I'm trying to put watercolor on top of it, and as you can see, this is a good lesson. It's not really going as well. But that's okay. That's how you discover. Um, you play, and then you make discoveries. All right, so this color here is really, really, the stem is really, really light, almost lime. So I'm gonna add that. 
My dog is snoring in the background. Ah, chicken nuggets. I dropped something. <laughs> um, I always say chicken nuggets because I have two kids and I try not to use expletives when they're around. So chicken nuggets is like an easy one to say. It's, it rolls off the tongue really easily. Um, so sorry about that. You got me at an, an expletive. All right, look at this. Uh, let's see, what's another one? Look at this one. I, I've been wanting to pick this one. So I'll try that one too. Where should we put it? Right here maybe? And remember, I'm just getting the expression of it. See how I'm rolling? Just rolling it along. It might not look exactly like it, but that's okay. It goes in a little bit, just rolling. It has little stems. <clears throat> Am I losing my voice, guys? You know what? Maybe I don't um, add too much color in between. Or maybe I will. Oop. Already that's the wrong color, but that's okay. Because we're just playing. So yeah, go outside if you can. It's raining now. Earlier it wasn't. Try to look at some leaves. The only warning I will say is leaves of three, if you're walking around, let them be, I think. That's what I learned in high school. Nope, in elementary school. And I also taught that when I was teaching elementary school. The only part is I can't remember what the other leaves are. So be careful because some of them are poisonous. And I would hate for you to have that happen to you. So leaves of three, definitely let them be. Look at the jaggedness. Make sure it's the right kind before you pick it. All right. Um, I'm gonna, before I go, I wanna try, I'm gonna try to do this one. So I'm gonna take watercolor paper. Maybe we'll just watercolor this too. I don't know. Open it up to a blank page because I do not have a lot of blank pages left. All right. I am so inspired by this circular seed pod that we found today. So I'm just gonna try to paint that. All right, here we go. I need a green. Thank you again for joining me, guys. I really appreciate that. Like I said, we have the Painting with Joy coming up. If you wanna join us, it's totally free. It's an hour on Zoom where we just paint and I'll give you a reference picture and um, and we'll just have fun. Okay, so there it is. And then I think I'm gonna take a brush that is a zero. A zero brush is fun because it's really small. And then I'm just gonna put some brown, it looks like little brown dots. So I'm gonna do that right now. If I can get some of the brown from my watercolor. Ooh, man, look how fun that is. There's so many dots. I mean, like, it's amazing what you see when you go out on a walk. I love the way the watercolor just spreads everywhere. It's one of my favorite things. And then I'll take a pen, um, probably an oil pastel, and just kind of add some definitions or marks to that sorry if i'm shaking the table but yeah oh man this seed pod might be my favorite thing that we've found on our walk so far so it's starting to look kind of all the same color so i'm going to take a paper towel and just kind of dab and then maybe add a different kind of green at the top yeah, so this is from a whole bind set. I'm gonna keep playing here, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. 
I'm gonna try this flower before we go. All right. Oh, I love painting. It just makes me, and the cool thing about painting flowers is they don't have to be perfect. One of these days I'm gonna, I would like to try to do portraits. But how do you not make that perfect? That's the challenge of it because what if you make your portraits and it doesn't look exactly like that person? I think that's what's uh, keeping me back from that, you know? Like, yikes. Maybe I'll practice with my family first because I know they'll, they'll still be like, they can be like, okay, that's a nice practice before I start doing somebody that may be not in my family, right? <laughs> okay. The cool thing about um, watercolor is you could layer with other things on top of it. So I'm just layering that now. So if you have any questions, please don't be shy. And thank you for like chilling with me while I play. Yeah, so now I'm going to add the stem. Or maybe we'll use this lime green color. This palette, it's so hard to explain because, yikes. It's a bunch of different colors from different manufacturers. So I did a YouTube video about that. So if you want to know what's on here, you can just check it out. It links in my bio. But, um, okay, so I'm adding the stem. Oh, I don't care that it's running. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll add leaves. Oh, do you see how my, my brush just, the brush is doing its own thing. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Just let the brush do the work and you just have fun. Where to register for the Zoom thing. The link is in my bio and um, it'll say painting with joy. You just register there and we'll give you the link to the picture we're doing, maybe a list of supplies that you want. Um, it'll be on there. So yeah, the link will be in my bio. Or you could check out my website. It's hi, joy, J-O-Y, ting, T-I-N-G, dot com. But it's easier to just go in my bio. Do you see how this has like little... I'm turning them brown. Oh, that's fun. Oh, guys, I can't leave. This, I'm having too much fun here. Let's do a dandelion leaf. Oh, man. Put that on the side. I'm going to do one more, I think, because I can't stop. Maybe I'll do the stem first on this one. And then, like, the thing is thing that's tricking me about this one is it's not really I have to study this some more because it's not really like rounded but you know what we're just getting the spirit of it I'll keep practicing sometimes things don't totally work out and you just have to keep practicing my dandelion leaf is looking like a different kind of leaf <laughs> but that's okay it's okay we're just having fun. All right. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of pink to or red to that, I think. Oh, man, I love how the pink, like, just dances and plays together. It's almost like they're just friends that are hanging out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep painting here probably for a little longer. But, yes, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Teggy says, your art is so beautiful. You inspire me so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. But you too can make art like this. You just have to make some time and play. Yeah. Because unfortunately, I don't know why I do this, guys. I do the live and I forget to charge my phone beforehand. I'm adding some well pastel now. So my phone's about to die, but... Thank you so much for being here.
I'm adding a little bit more marks that are not there, but I'm just adding it. Anyway, all right. Well, yes, for Von Marul says it's your leaf. Yes, <laughs> it's our, it's my leaf, right? So it doesn't matter. But yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And um, yeah, take care. Bye, everybody.